Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Today, we're going to be taking a look at something called MTP, which stands for Media Transfer Protocol. Now, for those of you wondering, what on earth is this? Well, you noticed that a couple of years ago when we actually bought, you know, electronic devices that connected to our computer, invariably, to actually access or modify the files, you plug it in, and your computer sees a mass storage device. Your computer simply treats them as a flash drive. Now, this is actually different from a lot of devices today, especially phones. When I connect my Galaxy Nexus to my computer, it doesn't actually show itself as a mass storage device. Instead, file transfer happens over this thing called Media Transfer Protocol. What we're going to try and do today is to actually attempt to understand what MTP actually is, what is its purpose, what are its pros and cons. MTP is actually based off a slightly older protocol called Picture Transfer Protocol or PTP. Essentially, MTP is an extension of PTP. Of course, PTP just defines the standards for transferring pictures, whereas MTP actually has a somewhat wider scope. Here are some of the advantages provided by MTP over USB mass storage. When you actually connect the device to a computer and the device identifies itself as a mass storage, what it's going to do is essentially it's going to just lay the contents of its storage completely open to your computer. What this means then is essentially the operations of the device must stop completely to allow this because of course you can't actually have you know your phone trying to work with a particular file and your computer trying to work with that file at the same time. MTP actually prevents this problem because then it only presents whatever files it wants to present. This means of course that important system files that the phone needs to be working with will be kept away from the computer. This means of course that it is technically not possible for you to actually modify any files that are in use by the device. Another problem presented by USB mass storage devices is your computer thinks it's a flash drive. This means that you can do pretty destructive stuff like for example completely reformat your device or even well delete important system files. This could actually make a device completely unusable and of course we don't want that. MTP prevents this because then your computer never has that low level of access. Essentially everything your computer can do to an MTP device is actually dictated by the device itself. So we have seen some advantages of MTP but it remains that there are still some problems. For example if you have a phone that runs on MTP you realize that whenever you try to double click a file to open it you can't actually open a file directly from the device. Instead, when you double click a file, this file is actually copied onto your computer into a temporary directory, and then it's open from there. This gives you a number of inconveniences. For example, if you're trying to open a video, it might actually take a while to transfer that video into your local drive. Also, if you actually have, say, a text document that you want to quickly modify, you cannot actually modify it on the spot. You have to copy out the file, modify it on your desktop and then copy it back in. So that is one inconvenience. But inconveniences aside, there is actually a more major problem. For example, if somehow some files got corrupted and your phone became unresponsive, you can't just plug it in and you know try to hack around with the file. Devices that offer MTP access need to be at least somewhat functional to actually provide this access. And of course, what this means is if something goes wrong with the device, there is absolutely nothing you can do about it because, well, you can't just jump in. So that's MTP, some pros and cons for you in this episode of Friday Minis. That's all we have today. Don't forget to like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. You're watching 0612TV.